everybody. Red Hot Press Channel. It's really sad. I live here in Australia, Oz. If you're not from here and you're from the States or United, United Kingdom, we'd ha we've had fires here for about, I'll say, five to eight months constantly. And uh, the thing is, it's really sad because a lot of people have lost their homes, their livestock, their life, their memories, everything's gone, been obliterated. And millions and millions of hectares have gone and there's been a lot of controversy even about that. But a lot of land, a lot of animals, a lot of everything's died and is continuing still. A lot of people are really, really riled at the moment because if anything that is going to be a topic for 220, it's going to be the climate. And people aren't going to forget this. You know, and the new start to 2020, to lose your home and everything you got to start again is just mind-blowing, really, isn't it? So the politicians here really want to get on board as far as renewable goes because renewables are the way. The fossil fuels aren't. And people voted for Scott Morrison and whoever's in as a leader to do something about the climate impact. So you are very good at tinkering with the economy, but there has not been any action on climate change at all. Nothing. A lot of talk, maybe a lot of meetings, but no real decisions. And even the opposition leader says, it's now time instead of being in denial, Scott Morrison, you and your party, that you've got to unite and do something because people look towards you, they voted you in. Do you really think that, personally, forgetting about climate, then the climate change and the impact of what the climate has done and is doing and is going to increasingly getting worse, and all the experts say that, not only the scientists, are you, you know, putting it underneath the carpet, trying to hide the topic? It ain't going to, it is not going to go away. And it's not going to do you any good as Prime Minister because when people vote next time, they're going to remember it. So the people here in Australia are now fed up. They're scared, they're worried, their future, their lives are impacted. And there's more on its way. So people aren't going to forget it. The next time the vote, voting comes around and you guys haven't done anything, well, <laughs> anyway. So I really think that from now on, people's eyes are going to be on Scott Morrison and his party on what they do. And they're going to judge you for that because people don't want to die obliteration, nothing. They might get compensated by the government. That replaces nothing, really. It's like a Band-Aid. That's all it is. Anyway, from the Red Hot Press channel, like, subscribe and comment. Until next time, bye, everybody. Bye.